Hello and welcome back to Amnesia, The Dark Descent, played blind. This poor man is a gripper. And if you spoil anything about this game... My people. My people. Shut up! Yes, I do take pride in that battle. Is it so wrong? Yes, um... If you spoil anything, I'll do you... Do, do you. Shut up! Shut your stupid mouth! I suppose it doesn't matter. I guess you can't because you ripped your jaw out, but you know. The dark walls being the universe, and inside are its followers. Humans watching the sky slowly turn. But the followers do one thing to allow them a real sense of connection, creation, the orbs. Okay, will you shut up now? I'm trying to get stuff done. Anyway, if you spoil anything I'll do to you with Alexander to that guy. I'm not quite sure how it works yet, but I'll figure it out. I'm a pretty crafty person. I'm gonna go this way first. I have a feeling bad things happen. Transept. Okay, that sounds like a septic system. Another sewer, good. I don't actually know, I'm pretty bad at languages. However, there is a... What the fuck? There is a what the fuck, yes. I'm gonna look down here anyway. Nothing, okay, good. Let's see what happens. Oh no, I have an idea. I have an idea. I know what I'm supposed to do now. I'm a tard. That's my name. Tardy McGee. There we go. Now let's see what we catch. I was going fishing. Eyes going fishing for a monster who just ate my meats. Take the freaking bone. Picked up remains covered in mucus. Awesome. See, I'm a puzzle genius. You all shouldn't doubt me. Doubting me is for the dumb. And oh no, I don't like the look of this at all. If I was in the game where you could actually fight stuff, this looks like a boss room. I don't like that. Stand in a circle, things happen. Okay, whatever. What? How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me already! Kill me! This one, prepare him. <laughs> I see. The person has to want to die. Interesting. Okay, should we go up or take these rooms first? Rooms it is. I'm glad you people told me to do this. This does not look horrible at all. I am not terrified. I can tell you that right now. Okay, room looks clear. Outside of these torture devices. Interesting. Okay. Hello? I have a feeling I'm going to need to be hiding this soon, so I'm going to remember that's here. A piece of the orb, hell yeah. I am a super genius. Okay. I 
Aha. Apparently, your shoulders cannot support your weight that way. Interesting to know that. Let's take a look here. Ah, see, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. You hold somebody up like that, yeah, their 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 shoulders are definitely going to be snapping. Am I supposed to crank this? I'm trying to do it. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, here, let's do it like this. Yes, okay. Interesting. Keep letting me turn it, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that ghost of the lady who died here before. I'm hiding. I don't need this crap anymore. Don't need it. Maybe I do. Oh, look, the, bar the, the, the stool turned over. That's interesting. Let's keep going. I cannot control my character anymore. That's good. That's super awesome. I tortured to death a person who was already dead. Hey, pull it together, Daniel. Pull it together, sir. You need to stop freaking out on me. I'm quite serious right now. This kind of control of my character is not satisfactory. Please get sane again. Holy crap. You're such a wuss. You didn't even kill a real person. You kill the ghost person or something or yeah something the cradle is ready good you you're a man how can you partake in this is he all right he is one of the wicked don't pay his lies any attention I'm not a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault. Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. Sure we are. Is it... Are they the monsters? Or is it we who are the monsters, sir? Answer that question. And I'll give you a cookie. Okay, I am not going to light every single candle. I'm going to skip that one. The cradle. Oh, I know what this one is. I know this one. I studied my medieval torture methods. Just what a guilty man would say. Yeah, uh, is there a diagram for this? Where's the diagram at? No diagram, apparently. Okay. Well, the basic idea is you can probably tell. Pretty much just put the guy on this point. Put the guy's back on this point. Or his. Oh, wait, no. I believe you make him sit on it. Yeah. Let's touch it. Interesting. However, I have found no item in here. I demand items when I walk into rooms. Especially ones with such long hallways leading up to them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure 
you had to make... I'm pretty sure you made the person, like, sit, sit on it. Which is, um... Yeah. Anywho, let's go. I have no idea what the hell that hallway was meant to do. Oh, there's a body in there now. Look. Look at that. There's a body in the cage now. It wasn't there before, I swear. I looked. It was totally not there. Hey! Yeah. In any case. Moving on. This is starting to freak me out a little bit. I hear s I hear sawing. Is there a monster coming or am I just going crazy because the sawing's getting more vigorous? Yeah, I was just getting crazy because the sign was getting more vigorous. Yeah, nothing in here. Okay, good. Oh, there's a red glow. I'm going to be closing this, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's see how my lantern is doing. Holy crap. There we go. Let me check this orb piece. Texture color constantly changing. Good. And how is Benny's mental state? Yeah, I'd rather not speak about it either. Okay. Good. Let's take a look at this. That dude looks weird. And that dude looks way too happy with his job. But apparently you hang the person upside down and saw them from the butt down. That's, uh... That sounds pleasant. Oh, they did that to a rapist. I see. Huh. They're lazy. <laughs> lazy people. So I got lodged in his hip and it was like, eh, you know, what if. Texture and color are constantly changing. Well, good. I have a feeling that something bad is going to happen in this hallway. Call me crazy, if you wish. However, I do have a feeling. No? Hmm. Interesting. But alright. Is there another body in any of these, these the cages now? Nope, just that one. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. I don't need more dead bodies hanging. Okay. What? What? Uh, you have no idea because you're not playing right now. Okay, more freaky paintings, good. But these stairs are incredibly difficult to navigate. So I just hope I don't have to run down them later because they are so difficult to get down. Oh, look, uh, uh, I'm assuming that's a painting of Jesus' crucifixion. Or Jesus, if you are Hispanic. Which I am not, and that's a horrifying painting. Let's close the door on that. Good. Oh, they piped sounds of torture into this guy's office. Interesting. Disturbing is also a word I would use to say that. Yes, disturbing is a good word. See, interesting. Alexander knew he was a monster. Well, that's special. Good for you. Good for you. Another not not read note that I have to read now. Sweet. Okay, let's do this. 
There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out of it, break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then continue with the actual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, and it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in doses, if possible with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. Okay, so the drink that we drank to forget everything is something that Alexander gives to torture victims. And I have string now. Um, okay. I have string now. I'm glad, I guess. Maybe she knows. She does know. She knows everything. Oh, do, 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 do. La 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 Back to the nave. Oh, Daniel, you're such a sissy. Sissy Daniel. Alright. What if that thing's coming out of the water now? Thane, are you coming out of the water now? Thane? Hello? You coming out of the water now? No. I knew you were scared of me. <coughs> Let's close this door in case it does come out. Anyway. Is there something else? No, you should. Not many orbs are left. They sometimes consume themselves or break. Then used by an uninitiated. I was lucky. The orb I found spared my life and returned to where I found it. I know because Alexander took it and brought it to Brynenburg. I see. I'm gonna go over here where you stop talking now. All right. Anyway, uh, that's it for this part. Uh, next time we'll explore this other door, which I'm sure has the other parts of the orb. Anyway, I'll see you then.